But even the old Hemel Hempstead is brand new compared with this way of life. The ladies pounding corn and, of course, the pillion passenger are Kikuyu, members of Kenya's biggest tribe. Here, too, things are changing. The Kikuyu have made great progress recently in getting the most out of their fertile land. But in Kenya, as elsewhere, mother's methods are preferred when it comes to cooking. The smart hairdo for a girl in these parts is the Yulbrina. And the hairdresser's equipment could hardly be simpler. One razor blade without a razor. Talking of progress, Kenya is producing more and more coffee every year and they proudly claim it's some of the finest in the world. And the coffee farms aren't all owned by Europeans by any means. Getting on for a third of the acreage belongs to African farmers and their cooperatives, and the proportions growing steadily. The Kikuyu play a big part in this expansion. They're a colorful people, rich in legend and tradition, but they're also highly intelligent, quick to learn the white man's techniques and pick up new ideas. European advice is helping the African coffee farms to stand on their own feet. Kikuyu and their neighbors were herding livestock long before any of them had seen a white man. And in this sphere, old methods die hard. And like English livestock in the Middle Ages, the scrawny herds which the African tribesmen tended so carefully were, to be frank, pretty poor specimens. But here too, modern methods are winning the African over. If the chap next door is raising bigger and better cattle than you are, sooner or later you'll stop blaming luck, witchcraft or the weather and start doing things his way. One thing doesn't change, or need changing. Give a bunch of kids a stretch of river and plenty of sunshine, and as long as the adult world's good-tempered enough to leave them to it, they'll behave in approximately the same way. And what child wouldn't enjoy itself against such a fabulous background? Thank you. 